Guys, managing emails, calendars, and all your apps can get messy and time-consuming. But what if you could handle all of that from a single chat window? Today, we are diving into Manus AI's connectors, a feature that lets you link Gmail, Google Calendar, Notion, HubSpot, and more, all in one place. I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel, where I make smart tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to set up these integrations, analyze your recent emails, turn them into structured calendar events, and even get AI-powered insights on your upcoming meetings. By the end, you'll see how Manus can completely streamline your workflow and save you hours every week. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's jump in and see Manus AI connectors in action. All right, guys, today we're checking out a game-changing feature in Manus AI called Connectors. This is an integration system that lets you link dozens of different services through a single chat interface. Connectors use the MCP protocol, which is a standard for connecting AI assistance to external systems and APIs. They also work with existing apps, so you can directly connect and integrate Gmail, Google Calendar, GitHub, Notion, HubSpot, and many more right inside Manus. Folks, you can even connect multilingual AI models via API and use them within Manus in one unified interface. You can also plug in your own custom MCP and work with your own services through Manus, instead of constantly switching between your email, calendar, CRM, and other apps, you can manage everything from a single chat window. This completely changes how workflows operate and boosts productivity. Now guys, I'll show you how to set up and use these integrations in practice. We'll go through a real workflow that showcases the power of Manus AI connectors in everyday work. We'll analyze an email, create a Google Calendar event, and then ask the AI to identify your most important upcoming meetings. This workflow shows how AI can do more than just read data from different services. It can intelligently process it and provide insights for better time management. Let's start by connecting Gmail and Google Calendar via connectors, folks. You can turn connectors on or off, manage them, and configure them to fit your own needs. Let's take this prompt and analyze the last 15 emails. You can choose a quick overview or a deeper analysis, where the AI goes more thoroughly into your data. Guys, you can also switch between agent mode and chat mode. I've got adaptive mode on, which lets the app smartly pick the best approach. I send the request and it starts analyzing my last 15 emails. It's working. You can even open the app on your computer to check if it's running. Here it connects via API to Gmail and pulls the 15 most recent emails. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Once it's done, the app gives a detailed analysis of the emails and structures the results into five categories. The first category highlights urgent action items with high priority, automatically extracting sender info, date, and required actions. Next, it identifies meeting requests and scheduling discussions followed by important project updates with deadlines. Then it shows key people for follow-up with lower priority, and finally, folks, general information that doesn't need immediate action. The results are nicely structured with subjects, dates, details, and action items clearly displayed. This makes it easy to quickly review your emails and prioritize your daily workflow. Now let's create calendar events based on our email analysis. I'll pick specific items the calendar entries I want to transform, and describe in plain language what I want. Then we send it through the menu, guys. As you can see, the system doesn't just blindly create calendar events, it asks clarifying questions. This shows smart management. Manus knows that to make useful calendar entries, it needs specific details. It asks about the contact person, their email address, Google project deadlines, and preferred time blocks for urgent emails. We'll provide detailed answers to all four questions, folks. The system analyzes them and creates a structured calendar event with everything needed. For example, one event has a clear title – Meeting with PayPal – Account Verification Issue. It's scheduled for Tuesday, September 23rd from 2 to 3 p.m. 
The system automatically adds the participant info, sets up a Google Meet link for the virtual meeting, and includes a contextual description with the original email details. Folks, you can edit or cancel any of these events if needed. We can also tweak each part of the created events. Let's go ahead and create them. We click Create for the first event, review the second one, click Create again, then the third, and finally the fourth. After that, guys, we get a message confirming that all calendar events for next week were successfully created. It's a really solid result. Now we can ask the system to analyze all upcoming calendar events for the next seven days. It pulls everything together, showing all key events we have planned for the week in one place. This is really efficient and high-quality work. Alright guys, that wraps up our look at Manis AI connectors. This tool makes managing emails, calendars and apps way easier, all from a single chat window. You can analyze emails, create structured calendar events, and even get smart insights on your upcoming meetings without jumping between apps. If you want to see how much time you can save and make your workflow smoother, go ahead and try Manas AI for yourself. I have left the links in the description. I'd also love to hear from you. What apps would you connect first or what workflow would you automate with Manas? If you're excited to try it out or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.